So oh, yeah. yes, we, we did install an aerobic digester. The reason is, I mean, we grew so fast. Uh, we, we are processing about a, a little bit over 70, uh, last year was a little bit over 70 million pounds of goat milk. And basically over 20% of that is uh, whey and waste. And uh, uh, for cow milk, you can use the whey and you make protein uh, powder and things like this, but uh, there is no plant that uh, really want to uh, process that. So we, we had to land spray all our wastewater and all our way. And in order to, um, uh, and that's very costly, uh, when the um, when the way decompose, even though it's land spray, it's going to be absorbed in the, in the ground. It's all controlled by the uh, Department of Natural Resource and we, we are very cautious that we're not polluting anything. But by the decomposition process, uh, you have a methanization and uh, it releases methane. Uh, and that's how it's being uh, absorbed. Now methane is uh, uh, a, high, a strong pollutant. It pollutes about 21 times more than carbon dioxide. And uh, we wanted to find a, a, an easier way uh, to process this waste. And so we did a very thorough study. And at that point, we realized that an anaerobic digester would only, we would produce the methane, control the methanization, but then we harvest the methane, we burn it in a generator and we produce electricity that goes back to the grid. So it, it's a super cool project because uh, it, it produces actually more electricity than we, we use. We have enough to power the whole village of Belmont, uh, where we are. It's enough to pro, uh, for about 220 Wisconsin homes. Wow. Uh, so it, it, it's a real cool uh, project and we're actually uh, uh, just starting on that uh, because we, we've grown since we uh, did the feasibility study on that and we're actually already uh, planning expansion uh, of that digester and we're hoping to break ground in September.